get it out of the vault. Out of the vault. Okay, while we're showing some top secret, don't forget to go to adafruit.it slash discord and hang out there. Let's talk about some squid pro quo. <laughs> uh, we're making some goggles. These are the Sister Night goggles from Watchmen. You can see some of the progress and more. Um, it is a 3D printed project, so you can get some previews of what we're thinking and what we're doing, including the evolution of these. And these are, they've, they've gone even farther still. Yeah. This looks great. They're getting very close. Next up, we posted a stem asunder. Coming soon, this is a uh, ported pressure sensor from ST, the LPS 33. Uh, this is kind of the sister to the 35, but uh, like we said, we're coming out with all of our sensors. If they have I squared C, we're putting uh, stem and QT connectors on them so you can easily connect and chain them, no soldering required. Also have some coming soon. The MCP2221 is an interesting low cost USB to like I squared C, ADC, DAC, and GPIO chip. It's not as fast as the FT232H, but it's really cheap. Did I mention it's cheap? So we thought maybe like USB C on one end and then like a stomach QT connector on the other, and then you could use um, Blinka on a computer to add a uh, quick I squared C connectivity. Idea. Uh, also, revise the LSM9 DS1 9 DOF sensor. Likewise, uh, make it a little bit smaller, compact and add uh, QT connectors on each end. Um, also kind of updating, also revising the LIST3. Uh, this is a family, this is the LIST331 and H3 LIST331. And maybe we can also use this for the LIST3DH. So uh, a couple different accelerometers that might use that breakout. The Beano 080, we actually designed a breakout for this like a, two years ago and I like, kind of never released it. So I went through and respun this. Um, this sensor has like every possible interface, so it's kind of big for a breakout because we had to add level shifting for like SPI and I squared C and UART. Uh, but I think we got everything going here. It's a nice update to the BNO 055. And then I noticed a lot of people using the BH1750 light sensor, so I thought I could spin together a quick light sensor breakout. And okay. yeah, we'll see. Back in the vault. <laughs> 